you're using Notion's navigation wrong. And if you're anything like me, you probably don't even realize it. See, most people waste too much time clicking around in their workspace, searching for pages, and trying to keep things organized. But today, I'm going to show you seven powerful navigational features you're probably not using that will make moving through Notion effortless. Now, why should you listen to me? Well, I've helped over 18,000 people optimize their Notion setups, turning messy, frustrating workspaces into smooth, streamlined systems. And I use Notion every single day. My whole channel is about Notion tutorials. It is my only personality trait. So I know exactly what works and what doesn't. And by the end of this video, you'll be navigating Notion like a pro, finding what you need instantly, moving through pages with zero friction, and finally making your workspace feel easy to use. Because if you don't fix your navigation, you'll keep losing time hunting for pages, clicking through endless menus, and worst of all, your Notion workspace will feel clunky instead of intuitive, which is very important for an all-in-one app. So stick around because I'll be covering the seven essential navigational tools in Notion that most people overlook. First, the built-in guide that ensures you never lose track of where you are, a simple way to jump to key pages instantly no matter where you are in Notion, a quick access system that puts your most used pages right at your fingertips, a dynamic element that helps you skim and structure long pages effortlessly, a game-changing way to mirror important information across multiple pages, how to quick search your entire account, and a powerful way to connect related information. Subscribe for Notion tutorials, let's get into it. All right, so here is my blank page. And what I'm going to do is just quickly create some pages. So let's just do a gallery, blah, open that up. And then let's do a page in here. Let's call this blah, blah. Okay, so let's say you're a few pages deep and you're wondering where am I in my document? Then what you're going to do is write forward slash and then write bread. And here you can see breadcrumb. And as you can see, it builds this menu here. So now I can see I'm on the page blah, blah, which is in the page blah, which is in the page untitled, which is in the page new page. And I can actually click on any of these. So these are interactive. So if I click on new page here, I go back to the original page. And by the way, if you ever rename blah, blah here, so let's say it's something useful, presentation. As you can see, this automatically updates the breadcrumb. That's how to create a built-in guide that ensures you never lose track of where you are. Okay, let's say here you are writing a report, for example. So you're writing a report and you're saying your words. Words go here. That's really useful. And now you think, oh, for this report, I really want to link to another document. Now with traditional document setups, this is weirdly difficult. But in Notion, it's very easy. All you're going to do here is forward slash and write link. And here you can say link to page. So I'll click on that. And then you don't have to just select from these. You can actually just start typing. So let's link to the presentation one. So I'll write presentation and here I can see it's sitting presentation. So now in this report document, within the text, I'm linking to this presentation here. That's how to link to page in Notion. When I watch Notion tours, I often see people's sidebars look something like this. Here you can see this is an absolute mess. I actually have a full tutorial on how to clean up your Notion sidebar, but there's one tip that not enough people use. Let's say that I'm working on this report here. If this is something that I'm actively working on, and this is top of mind for just this week, let's say, then what I can do is go up here and click on this star icon. And what happens is it gets added under a favorites tab here on the side. This is super useful. Obviously, I still have all of my other pages here in the side menu, but this will just show up here at the top. And of course, if I click on reports here, then I can just open up this page and unfavorite it when I don't need it at the top anymore. That's how to link to your favorite pages in the sidebar. Okay, so let's say we're working on this report here and we have the introduction, words go here. So we have introduction, body, conclusion, and all of these obviously have the wonderful words of words go here underneath it. Well, what we're going to do here is use these six dots to click on introduction here. And here we could say turn into. So let's turn this here into a header two, for example. Turn the body here into a header two, and we'll turn the conclusion here into a header two as well. Now let's say hypothetically, this page here is very long. Then all you have to do is forward slash and write table. And then here you can see table of contents. And this will actually give you the table of contents from this page. So it's actually just picking up the headers that you've used on this page here. So these headers won't come from other pages. Let's say you were to add a header one here, let's call this main argument here, and we'll turn into header one. As you can see, the structure here changes. So it's using header one, header two, and header three 
in order to know what kind of layout this table of contents should have. This element is really useful if you're writing long docs in your Notion. Okay, for this next one, let's say you are working on your report, but you also wanna have that information readily available in the presentation. So instead of doing what most people do, where you might write something like space is big, let's say you want to remember space is big. Most people would copy that, then go to presentation and then paste that. And then they remember, oh yeah, space is big. I remember that now. This isn't very useful because if you now change the report document to space is very big, then now in your presentation here, it still says space is big, but that's not true. It's very big. So here's what you'll do. We'll go to our report page here and we can see space is very big. What I'm going to do is write forward slash sync. Now, if you haven't used a sync block before, they are really, really cool. So I'll click on sync block here. And now anything that I drag into this red box here, that can be synced on another page. So here I'll drag and drop space is very big. Now what I'm going to do is click on copy and sync. So now if I go to the presentation page here and just click on paste, so control V, now I can see space is very big. And if I add anything into this red box here and it's cool, if I now go back to the report, I can see here and it's cool. So anything that sits inside of this red box will mirror onto any other page that you have this block. So that's how to create synced blocks in Notion. Now the next one here is absolutely fundamental. Up here, you can see search. If you click on this search here at the top, you could search your entire Notion account. And if you use Notion as a second brain, it can search your tasks, your projects, your life buckets, your notes, your resources, absolutely everything, which is so useful. So here, if I search for space is very, you can see the report showing up. So if I click on that, I now open up this page. That's how to do a Notion quick search. By the way, if you want an all-in-one Notion template that can handle your tasks, your projects, your notes, your resources, time blocking, time tracking, etc., then click the link in the description to check out my template. All right, let's call this database here docs. So this here is a type of gallery, but galleries are just a type of database with the layout being gallery. Then let's create another database here. I'll just make this a blank database here and let's just call this tasks. If you click on the plus here and you scroll down, you can see this thing called the relation property. So here I can relate to another database. So let's relate this here to the docs database. So I'll simply just write docs. And here I can see that docs database. So now let's say the task here is to write report. Well, what I can do here is simply link to the report page. So it's linking to this page here. The relation property is a powerful way to connect related information. By the way, if you wanna check out the full tour for my Notion template, it's got over 2,500 users and a five-star rating, then click on this video here. It's built around the best productivity methods in the world. Click on this video here to check it out. Thanks for watching.